Well, for today's dish, I'm going to be making a very simple Italian, traditional Italian pasta dish. It's spaghetti carbonara. It takes only a few ingredients. We're going to need some pancetta or guanciale, which is the cheek side of the pig. If you can't find guanciale, you use pancetta like I'm going to use today. I couldn't find the thick cut, so I'm using the thin cut. Some spaghetti, get the good premium quality spaghetti. It makes all the difference in the world. Some grated parmesan or romano is the traditional. I've got a blend here, Romano and Parmesan. We're going to use one egg per serving of pasta. One pound of pasta, one third of a pound is probably a, a serving. So that's three servings, three eggs plus one additional egg to help make that egg cream sauce that we like. We're not going to be using cream, it's just egg and cheese. You'll see what I mean. So let's get started and I'll show you how to put this together. All right, so the carbonara, we're gonna be using this pancetta. Now, I couldn't find a thick cut, so I got slices. And pancetta is not like bacon. It's, it's made a little different. It's the same type of meat, but uh, pancetta uh, is not smoked, where bacon is a smoked uh, pork. This, this is a cured uh, pork. So there is a, a difference in flavor. If you do use bacon, uh, it'll be a little different. It won't be traditional, but it'll still be good. So let's cut this into cubes. Okay, so let's get the pancetta into the pan. Oh, that, that sound is gold. Okay, we want, we want all this fat to render out, so you get all the oils. Then we're going to pull out the pancetta, put it aside so we can work on the pasta. We, we got four eggs here room temperature eggs. All right. uh, it's going to be one egg per serving in a pound of pasta. It's about three eggs uh, and one extra to help the sauce. So let's get the eggs in here. Okay, and that's number four. The only other ingredient you're going to need in here is the Parmesan, the grated Parmesan or the Romano. This is a Romano Parmesan Asiago blend, so that'll work fine. And you're going to need quite a bit of it. So we're going to start off here and give this a twirl. And you want to make sure you, it gets almost, almost like a thick paste. So I'm, I'm basically just beating the eggs until the, uh, until the cheese is fully incorporated. Now we're going to back to the stovetop and get the pasta in the, in the boiling water. All right, so now the water's boiling. I lightly salted it. I don't want to over salt it because it's going to be plenty of, of salt from the cheeses. For pasta, I'm using a, a premium cut spaghetti. Beautiful. Perfect. We'll let this cook for about eight minutes, and then I'll bring you back and we'll assemble it with the, uh, with the sauce, with the egg sauce and the carbonara it comes together and we get to eat. It's going to be delicious. All right, so now the pasta's got probably another minute or two to get to al dente, the perfect consistency. So what I'm going to need, and you can see the egg mixture here. It's kind of, kind of a thick paste. We're going to need some of this pasta water. So I'm going to grab about a cup's worth like this. It's going to keep the egg from, uh, from turning into scrambled eggs. So let's just give that a quick. So we're basically just tempering the egg here. Okay, that's good. Put that aside. Now we can pull the pasta out. So let's get the pan a little bit closer. And let's get that in here. Now we're just going to make sure we get it all coated in the, in the oil in there, in that pancetta oil, that pork fat. Okay, and while it's still warm like this, we're going to turn the heat off. And we're going to get the egg mixture in there. Here. Put that all over it. Here. And we're just going to move it around until, until we get a nice smooth sauce. 
because we don't want, again, we don't want the eggs to scramble. I want to make sure that the cheese is getting nice and melted here. Get the pancetta back in there and get that all working here. Get some of those flavors working. You can see the sauce, nice, beautiful sauce here. Nice. Look at that. It's getting nice and creamy. And if you want to get it a little bit more creamy, just add some more of that pasta water. Because the pasta will soak it up a little bit. So we have more of a creamy sauce. I mean, look at that sauce. That's beautiful. No cream involved. No milk, no cream. It's all cheese. Cheese and egg. We have to get some extra black pepper on here. You know, she needs lots of black pepper. So let's give that a taste. Nice. Look how creamy that is. Mm. Now that's good. So I hope you guys like the video. Give this carbonara a shot. You'll love it. It's, it's great. It's easy. Only takes a few ingredients, about 15 minutes to make. Thanks, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Give it a shot. Let me know in the comment section below if you, if you tried it or if you have a different method that you use. Give me some likes, some shares, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.